We're here at H-E-L-N-L Stadium in Gehenna, Texas. Owner GM and coach Scary Clones wants his newly completed art installation to get the crowd just wondering if naked painted orcs are gyrating in the lobby. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Los Scandalous Volts take on the Malice Hellboys. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing, because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a boom! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick in the QB, and he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. First and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. That's a four yard gain. Second down and six. Oh, and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there. Third down and long.
Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. They run it for a yard. Third and four. works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. And like a monkey truck, and then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second and three. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. First down and six. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose. Instead, they're in a dead heat. Tie game at the end of one. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. It bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. He's at the 30, the 20, he's at the 10. It's a touchdown.
Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. I mean, and anything really tastes good. And it's first and ten. Everyone, you had more than two people in the room? Yeah, the guy filming the clown. Somebody's got to make the balloon animals. Second down in a very lot. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. The quarterback unleashes a rocket. He creates a... And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. First and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. Seven. Oh, that was a vicious hit. There might not be an eye in team, but this guy's eyeballs are all over the other team's helmets right now. <laughs> Boom! Hey, uh, Fritz, check. 
take the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. I won't even get out of it. First and four. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> First and two. Second down and five. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. the beat for brain man with a ball and then fall down. Hey, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Brandon, did I kill him? Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs>
They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And he's running like a moose. That's a catch for a one-yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas. Third down and never going to happen. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. And the runner is going crazy fast. Look at the path he's taking him. I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. moving he picks up five yards on that play you know sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back and he booted a high arcing rainbow he's got the ball now and is going to try and score oh mama he just knocked him into the next time zone once he finds his head he'll be okay <laughs> And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a large sandwich? Second down in a lot. needs a miracle. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boot Dirty Trick. And that's how you run the football. First down. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turns on my front porch every day. And that'll be second down and four. Second 
Cornerback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. And the defender just got cut in half. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First down and nine. Second down and nine. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. more points so they're going for two and he gets into the end zone for the conversion yeah, this guy's a blowhard like the prom king of my senior prom thought he could dance too i brought a zombie as my date man that broad could eat she took advantage of the 50 bucks a head prom ticket The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? He can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. Shoveled his feet so well on that play, he should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down! And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. And these guys are marching down the field unopposed. And it's first and ten. received a pair of very expensive alligator skin shoes. They need to put some cement shoes on them before this game slips away. I was wanting a pair of alligator skin shoes, Grim. I heard, though, when you put them on, they feel just like chicken skin shoes. First down and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Third down and forever. Ooh, 
Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just getting the points and let's move on. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. You can't ask the game over yet. I got to go to the vet to have him reattach my big coat to where my tongue was again. It just fell off for the third time today. I was barely even chewing on it. They called a zap attack. The ball carrier. Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. The 30. He's at the 20. The 10. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And lightsaber there. And it's first and 10. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Third down and six. Up of about three on that play. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a time cramp. That cross stitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog being snagged. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks, because that was a and he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Two 
He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, at the all-you-can-eat buffets, they're not as literal as you'd think. Second down and seven. Sure. Ain't nothing worse than wasting a good explosive. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Oh, with the punishing hit! Timeouts aren't just for offense, Grim? Well, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. And it's first and ten. somehow and hold on for the first down this guy has a nice set of hands grim and the defense uses their second time out to stop the clock to preserve time for their offense first and four And defense burns its last time out. You can't take them into the locker room, so you might as well use them now. Why would you want to take a time out into the locker room, Grim? That doesn't sound right. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Oh, man, you can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about me. The offense screwed up that play, Bricks. Yeah, never had a chance, Grim. Never had a chance. <laughs> The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Taking what the defense has given them. That's a four yard gain on the reception. Hey, less than a wipe with a headache. Second down and six. Jimmy passes it for. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. Third down and five. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. The Mellis Hellboys lose today's game. They battled hard, but still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I hope there weren't any orc butts involved. I kind of like orc butts, especially with some Deshaun mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Not bad living. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...